Please don't hang up on me, Mr. Scan. Okay, this is going to be something a little bit different for me. This is a tutorial. If you're looking for a scammer video, don't bother watching this. Uh, somebody asked me how I got uh, a vast free antivirus on my VM to do this. Okay, what that is is a VB script. I got that from someone else. I am not a computer genius, so if you're going to critique this video, remember that. This is the program right here. This will be in the description. And what you're going to do with it is you're going to copy this from the description, put it into your notepad. I'll do it like as if you were going to do it and copy it and paste it here in your notepad. I'll get rid of that one. Okay, so you got the program here. And after you copy it from the description, you're going to save it as fast free antivirus because they hate free for some reason and you're going to save it as a VBS file save and there it is now what you're going to do is move this to somewhere else I'm going to put it in my documents and cut it out of here, paste it in here. Then what you have to do is create a shortcut for this. So you can send it back to your desktop. And there it is. Now you have this, you need an icon. I already searched for an icon. Now more than likely you're going to find JPEGs and PNG files, you're going to have to go online and change it to an ICO so it'll act as an icon. I already have one downloaded as an icon, so what I'll do is go to Downloads. Yeah, here's my icon. So, what you want to do here is right click on this, go to Properties. And you want to change the icon, and you want to use this one, open, OK, and apply. Get rid of this. And there is your fake Avast antivirus. Now, you're probably going to want a better icon than that one. Like I said, most of them are going to be JPEGs, but you can go online and search uh, change JPEG to ICO and it'll change it to a regular icon. But that's it. I mean, it's fairly simple. Uh, like I said, the uh, uh, program will be in the description. Just make sure you save it with the name of Vast Free Antivirus and uh, you'll be all set. Thank you.